Funlings, can you please try and work out which train is pretending to be a ghost? Oh yes, we can do that. Did you see that ghost? I didn't realise there was another ghost train on the island. I must ask Ghosty about him. Ghosty, I have a quick question for you. Is there another ghost train on the island? Not that I know of, Thomas. I'm pretty sure I'm the only ghost train. You can see through him. <laughs> Thanks, Ghosty. That means the ghost train isn't a real ghost. It's a train pulling a prank. Funlings, can you please try and work out which train is pretending to be a ghost? Oh yes, we can do that. Let's ask the superheroes to help. Superheroes, can you help us please? Can you help us work out which train's pretending to be the ghost please? Of course Funlings, let's go! Pretending to be the ghost then? Let's try again. Hello Captain America. red buffers. Let's ask him. Oh, it's not you, Whiff. Let's see another superhero. Ooh, hi Thor. Hello Funlings. Let's see what colour funnel the train has. Hi 
Goodbye, Spider-Man. Did you see that? The train has a white cabin roof. Which train has a white cabin roof? Oh, Stepney does. Let's ask him. Okay, it's not you, Stepney. Let's try again. Hello, Black Panther. Can you help us with a clue? Hmm, the train has some black on its back. I can't think of many trains with black on their back. But I think Victor does. Let's find him. It's not you either, Victor. I'm starting to run out of trains. Let's hope Hulk can give us a clue. Hello, Hulk. It's Bill or Ben. They're always pulling pranks. Hello, Ben. Have you seen Bill anywhere? No, I haven't. I haven't seen him all day. Aha! It must be Bill. Thanks, Ben. We've got him now. Uh oh! Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a real ghost. It's an engine. And the prankster is. Bill! Yay! That was so much fun! I hope we have to work out another ghost train soon. Welcome to the Strongest Fireball Beach Competition! The rules are simple. Two cars race towards each other and will try to knock the other car off the track. Whoever stays on the track the longest wins! OK, get into your vehicles! And let's begin! First up, it's Captain America vs Spongebob. Oh, and Spongebob has bumped Captain America off the track. Unlucky Captain, so Spongebob goes through. Driver Funding vs Mater now. Ready, go! Oh, very well done by Mater. He knocks Driver Funding off, so he goes through. Driver Funding, I thought you were trained by McQueen. Cuh. Oh well, well done Mater. Superman vs Iron Man. A little touch from Iron Man sends Superman over the edge. So he's out and Iron Man is through. Cruise vs Batman next. Ready, go! Cruise went flying off there. Unlucky. So you're out and Batman goes through. Now it's Groot vs Catboy. Ready, go! Ooh, that was close. They both fell off. Judges, who goes through? Hmm, let's see a slow motion replay! Ah, it looks like Groot fell off first, so he's out. I am Groot. And Catboy is through. Jackson Storm vs Black Panther. Ready, go! What happened there? 
I don't know what Black Panther was trying there, but he's definitely out, so Storm goes through. Wonder Woman vs McQueen. Ready? Go! Oh, brilliantly done by McQueen there. He just bumped Wonder Woman off the track. So he's into the next round. And it's Spider-Man vs Hulk. Ready? Go! Spider-Man fell off, but what was Hulk doing? He's upside down. Well, Spider-Man wouldn't have fallen off had Hulk tried to stay the right way up. So Hulk's out. Oh. Spider-Man goes through. So these competitors won that round. Who will go through to the next? SpongeBob vs Mater first. Ready, go! Ooh, close, but SpongeBob has slipped off, so he's out and Mater's into the semi-final. Iron Man vs Batman. Ready, go! Iron Man was very strong there. He stayed on the track too, so he's also into the semi-final. Catboy vs Jackson Storm. Ready, go! Ooh, Jackson Storm smashed Catboy off there. Ooh, look at that spin. Storm's going to be hard to beat. And McQueen vs Spider-Man. Ready, go! Spider-Man hit McQueen off. Well, I didn't expect that, but McQueen's out and Spider-Man is through. So these are our semi-finalists. Who will make it into the final? Mater vs Iron Man. Ready, go! Mater knocked Iron Man off. Well played, Mater. So Iron Man's out and Mater's into the final. But will Storm or Spider-Man join him? Ready. It's Storm! Spider-Man may have gone through the finish line, but we're not using that today. So Spider-Man's out, and Storm is into the final. So, this is it. The final, between Mater and Jackson Storm. Only one can win, but who will it be? Ready, go! Oh, they both fell off. Hmm, I don't know who won. Judges? Hmm, let's see it again in even slower motion. Ah, Storm hit the ground first. It was close though. But that means the winner is Mater. Well done. You are the Fireball Beach strongest car, or, or truck. One day, Wizard Funling was bored. Hmm, bored, bored, bored. What to do, what to do? Oh, I know. Let's have some fun with magical numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now to make them magical and hide them. <laughs> Wizard Funling hit them all nearby. Oh look, there's the number two. I wonder who will find that. Oh look, a cow has. Now then, because the cow has found the number two, there's now two cows. <laughs> How funny! Let's see who else finds a number. Do 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 do. Oh, there's a number, the number four. Who will find that? Oh, a queen has. Now, because he's found the number four, there's now four McQueens! <laughs> four McQueens! <laughs> oh dear! Oh, look! The number one! Who will find that? Oh, look! It's Edward! 
Now, because he's found the number one, there's now one of him. Oh, but there already was only one of him. How boring. <laughs> I didn't think that one through. But who will find the number five? Huh? What's that? The number five? What does that mean? What? Where did all these Thomases come from? Hello, I'm Thomas. I'm a really useful engine. <laughs> Wizard Fernley, was that you? Maybe. Well, put me back to normal. Oh, come on, it's only a bit of fun. And anyway, my magic will wear off soon. But it didn't wear off soon enough. Do 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 Huh? What's this? A number three? Huh? Ah! Who are you? I'm the Joker. Who are you? I'm the Joker. Who are you? We're all the Joker. The number three must have created three Jokers. Three Jokers, eh? That's three times the fun. Oh yeah! Looks like no one can stop us now. So the three Jokers worked together and were up to no good. Nearby, Percy was delivering some valuables to the museum. His truck was full of gold and shiny gems. But up ahead, one Joker put up a broken signal, so that Percy would have to stop. <laughs> then, another Joker uncoupled his truck. And the third Joker sent Percy on his way. Hello Percy, I think this signal's broken. Let me change these points for you. There we go. Bye now. <laughs> we did it. We've got the treasure. It's ours. That was really easy. We make a great team. Not so fast, Jokers. Huh? Oh, it's Batman. You can't stop us today, Batman. There's three of us and only one of you. Well, actually, you found the number three, so there's three of you. But I found the number six, so there's six of me. What? Uh, oh, we can't get away from six Batmans. Oh, we give up. Heh, <laughs> that was easy. So the Jokers had given up, and Wizard Fundman's magic was starting to wear off. Ah, oh, that's better. Now, Wizard Funling, make sure you don't do something like this again. OK, OK, I won't. So Batman had caught the Joker, Percy had the gold and the gems back so he could complete his delivery, and everything was back to normal. Until tomorrow! <laughs> What was that? <gasps> that night, just before the engines were going to leave for Tidmouth Sheds, Salty warned them about the ghost train, who had been spotted by lots of different engines that night. The next morning, Sir Topham Hat had a very exciting job for Thomas. Thomas, I have a very important job for you today, but you must finish all of your normal jobs first. There is to be a grand firework display at a castle tonight for the Funlings. You must pick them up at the station by the tunnel and take them to the castle. Thomas was so excited. He quickly left to complete his jobs.
As Thomas moved some quarry rocks, the station started to get busier and busier. Oh, I can't wait to come back here later with all of the funlings. <laughs> oh no, Tom Moss had heard Thomas. I hope he doesn't prank anyone. Uh-oh, what are you doing with that truck full of stones, Tom Moss? Oh no, Tom Moss knows that's the only way to get to the funding station. <laughs> How is Thomas going to pick up the fundings now? Thomas collected Annie and Clarabelle and headed for the funding station. Until suddenly... There's stones on the track! No train can get to the Funlings now! What are we going to do? The Funlings waited and waited and waited until night came. Where's Thomas? No one knew what to do. Maybe the fireworks will have to be cancelled. Suddenly, Salty appeared. He told Thomas and Percy to go to a shed because at night time, the ghost train will appear again. Thomas and Percy were scared when suddenly... What was that? Ah, it's the ghost train! All of the trains were so scared! Oh, phew! It's only Ghosty! And look! He's come to save the day! He's the only train who can go through rocks! Ghosty picked up all of the funlings and took them to the castle where that night they all enjoyed the fireworks. It was almost Halloween, and some engines were loving it. Wahahaha <laughs> <laughs> to you too! But some engines weren't enjoying it quite as much. Oh, I don't like this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Uh, okay, maybe a little. And then, when he needed to use a tunnel... Ooh. Ah! There's a monster in the tunnel! Ah! Ooh. Whoa! 
watch out, Edward. Sorry, Thomas. Are you all right? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. I might have. There's a monster in the tunnel. A monster, eh? Usually it's someone like Tom Moss just trying to scare people. I'll have a look. Oh, thank you, Thomas. So Edward told Thomas where the tunnel was. Ooh. Ah, I think Edward's right. But then Thomas heard... Boo! No, that wasn't very good. Boo! Yes, that's better. Hmm, I recognise that voice. It's a rascal funling! Oh yes, it is. Hmm, we need to teach him a lesson. And I might need some help. So Thomas came up with a plan and left. Huh? Has Thomas gone? <laughs> that was fun. Oh, here comes a funling dressed as a ghost. <laughs> Ooh. That was a rubbish ghost impression. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. You're not even a real ghost. What? Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. These are real ghosts. Boo. What? Ah. <laughs> Let the fun begin. Hello, Rascal Fernley. <laughs> you don't scare me. There's no such thing as a vampire, Fernley. Huh? Phew. <laughs> Funny, you've been scaring people in the tunnel, haven't you? Y yes I'm so sorry. Good, don't do it again. Phew, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Edward and Thomas have watched the whole thing. See, it wasn't a tunnel monster, Edward. It was just a rascal fun lane. Oh yes, thank you, Thomas. No problem. Now we can really enjoy Halloween. Ha <laughs> I'll try. Funding, can you solve any mystery? I always give it my best shot. What's that? <gasps> A ghost! Yeah. Hey, this is a mystery you can solve because it's a guess the ghost ghost. A what the what what? Basically, if we find and rearrange all of the hidden Play-Doh letters, we can spell out the name of whoever's dressed up as a ghost. That sounds like fun! Let's find these letters. Yeah, come on! Ooh, there's one, but this rock's on it. Ooh, super fun thing! Can you use your super strength to lift up this rock so we can get this letter? Super strength? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, yes, of course. 
But um, turn around first. Okay. Psst. Hulk. Yes. Can you lift up this rock, please? Okay. <gasps> Thanks, Hulk. No problem. Okay then. You can look now. Ta-da! I saved the letter. It's a T. Hmm, Trevor maybe? Thanks, Super Fun then. Come on, let's see if there's a letter at the beach. <laughs> we found a letter. It must be very valuable. Ooh, the Pirate Funlings have a letter. Oh, you want it? It won't come cheap. Okay, hmm, what can we swap for it? Oh, we can give you this rock. A rock? What do you guys think? Do we need another rock? That is a very nice looking rock though, isn't it? It's always nice to have a spare rock. Wait a minute, we don't need a rock. No deal. Oh, don't worry, I have an idea. There, you can have this mystery treasure chest. What's inside? If I told you that, it wouldn't be a mystery. What do you think? I think it's a better offer than the rock. There could be gold inside. Okay, okay. We'll accept your swap. So, they swap the mystery treasure chest for the letter. It's an A. Ant-Man? Okay, so what's in here then? A talking carrot. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot! <laughs> oh no, it tells bad jokes too. We want the letter back. Hey, where did they go? <laughs> Got away from those pirates. And we found this letter. But how did we get it down? I can help. Huh? Ah, thanks, McQueen. So McQueen got into position. Got it! It's an R. Art? No. Tar? No. Rat? Oh, I hope not rat. Thanks, McQueen. I know. Let's find Thomas. He's good at guess the ghost. Now then, where is Thomas? He's where? He's behind us. Where? Oh yes, Thomas. Wait! Thomas! Fanlings? Uh, uh, phew! Ah, I see you found an E. Who's this ghost? Do you know where any other letters are? Yes, I know where the last one is. Yes, I do. Here it is, an M. Thanks. Now let's get out of here. Come back soon. Hello, ghost. So, who are you? Artem? No. Train? No. Remt? No. Tamer? No. Hmm, ooh, I think I've got it. It's Mater. Let's see if you're right. Yes, it is Mater. Hehe, <laughs> nice one, Fanlings. So today's ghost was Mater. <laughs> <laughs>